Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Sin. So the reason why I wanted to play this deck today is because most of the decks that I've been playing have um, been kind of like aggressive decks with a whole lot of units that you're just playing to the board. Those are kind of my favorite kind of decks and that, that's just what I've been playing a lot of recently. And so what I wanted to do is play a deck where spells really matter, you know, and play a, a whole lot of spells because I haven't done done that in a little bit. So of course the, the place to, to kind of look for is Ionia um, because we have some spell matter cards with Eye of the Dragon, Claws of the Dragon, um, and of course most notably Lee Sin at the top end. I want to do this with Twist of Fate, like we're going to be trying to draw a lot of cards. We got Deep Meditation, we got Salvage, we have Shadow Assassin and Zap Sprayfin drawing cards, and then of course Black Market Merchant and Pilfered Good. So Basically, what we're going to be trying to do is level up Twisted Fate in these games and uh, have the Twisted Fate just grind the opponent down. But then we need to actually win the game and um, you know get the 20 points of damage across. And besides our two elusives with the Shadow Assassin and Zap Sprayfin, uh, that's kind of what Lee Sin's going to be doing. The level up should be fairly easy. We're going to be casting a whole bunch of spells, so just seven plus spells. Should not be much of a problem to level up Lee Sin. And, uh, you know, then, then whenever, <clears throat> whenever you do level up, all you gotta do is cast a couple of spells, or really just one spell, give it challenger. And then, um, you know, it turns into, uh, you know, removal that if it doesn't kill it, then it bounces it like will of Ionia. And it also strikes the, um, nexus. So basically decimate for every attack. One thing that, um, so, you know, I was kind of trying this deck earlier. One thing that I really like with this deck actually is Warning Shot. I think this is actually a clutch card. I started with like, uh, like one or two and I'm up to three now. Because this is like burst speed spells are really necessary for this kind of deck. Like it's, it's really necessary with Lee Sin to have burst speed. Um, but, you know, we want to play two spells a turn because we want this deep meditation to cost three mana, not five mana. So we need to be casting two spells, of course, same with the Eye of the Dragon. And we need to have our Black Market Merchant and our Pilfer Goods turned on with the Plunder. And that's not easy to do, turn those on with the Plunder. So the Warning Shot does that also. So I feel like the Warning Shot just kind of uh, helps this deck out quite a bit um, with just like, you know, just some little things like that. Um, I have did, uh, you know, it started with War Claws of the Dragon, just kind of dropped them down. Uh, they don't really help your your game plan of casting a lot of spells, but they are a nice payoff, but not as good of a payoff as a lot of other things in here. And we got one Fizz because I wanted to play three Twisted Fate and I wanted to have two Lee Sin. I didn't really want three Lee Sin, so I wanted three and two. So I had five champions and you can play six. Um, and so I think one Fizz kind of fits in here also. Not too difficult to level up the Fizz either. All right, let's play some Twisted Sin. We're going to go play five games over in Master Rank, like we always do. We're at 562 to start today. What's up, Static Sting? We are live. Yes, we are. It is the weekend. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. And we're going to be playing... Playing some Twisted Sin. Let's see. So we have... Vimerdinger. This will be an interesting one. It may be easier to level up against Vimerdinger, but also maybe not. Hard to know. Um, let's mulligan the Deep Meditation. I want to keep these. Honestly, maybe I should be getting rid of the Pilfer Goods because um, they probably just want Vi and Heimerdinger, and that Pilfer Goods does get them closer to finding both of those cards. Yeah, I have been playing more Monster Train offline. I, uh, let's see, either yesterday or the day, yesterday, either, no, the day before, um, I finally beat, uh, the Covenant 1, um, took a while, took, probably took me like 8 runs or so, so I've, I've probably done like 10 runs total, and it took me like 8 runs to beat Covenant 1. But my champion, that run, my champion was just pretty awesome. Like, it was, I just had a ridiculous champion. Um, you cannot escape. See, I'm going to 
No, I'm not gonna block. Um, I had, I had like the brawler that was like 100 attack plus it gained 40 attack for each time you it killed something, and then I had two of this uh, card with consume that gave multi strike, so I gave it multi strike twice and it just kept on killing everything. And, and like the final boss at that point, it had 700 times three attack. Just ridiculous. See, like this hand, like this would be a great time for warning shot next turn. You'd be able to go like warning shot, black market merchant, go for goods. Um, that kind of stuff. Okay. Alright, well, they got me. So yeah, yeah, no, I really like the game. That Monster Train game's really good. Grasping claws. It's too late for you. So these Claws of the Dragon are putting some pressure on me. I'm definitely glad no champion. So next turn I could have 8 mana. Perfect amount for I, Merchant, Goods, Goods. <laughs> You're getting there to one. Don't worry about it. You're getting there. Thanks to the host. Welcome, everybody. Uh, what they just play? Five mana deep meditation? It's not exactly what you want to be playing. I never disclose my sources. They have to be running into... Um... I probably should have just played the Twisted Fate, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have just played this Twisted Fate first. I'm always you know, like, I, I I didn't adjust my plan. I should have, after they played that Deep Meditation, I should have just done this. I mean, the, the Twisted Fate's likely going to die, but oh well. Um. Alright, yeah, welcome. Alright, yeah. Got to run? Well, yeah, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm probably going to I'm probably going to play some some Monster Train more at, at yeah like on on end of streams and stuff like that some more. Imminently logical. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't play two spells last turn. Instincts are saying bounce this Heimerdinger. Let's 
Definitely the card I wanted to see the least was Flash of Brilliance. Zero mana, three one, elusive. And it doesn't even take up a card. It's just a free three one, zero mana, three one, elusive. I was gonna level up Twisted Fate the next turn. Cause you know, like we were gonna draw a card for a turn was gonna be turn uh, card two, and then four, six, eight. And it was all gonna be burst speed. Level up. Gross. Yeah, Storm, Storm uh, put that in the Discord. That that dog cat card. Within my grasp. Just kind of, I don't know. Feels like they're just pandering. Why are you here? Credit denied. Yeah, so I cast Will of Ionia and Twin Discipline, so I did play two spells. Man, I really need I really needed Twisted Fate to survive. Of is so good. What seems to be the problem? How do I get through that? I just can't. I can't kill a Heimerdinger. And if you can't kill a Heimerdinger, you can't beat Heimerdinger. You can't. It's it's impossible to outgrind Heimerdinger, and that's kind of what my deck needs to do. And that's that's just an actual impossible thing to do. So I do have a get excited now. If I use get excited and it doesn't work, I could, if they have twin disciplines, I guess I lose on the spot. I fight with my spirit, not my Maybe fist. I need to just try it. I had one more mana. Yeah, Sonic Wave will give me a challenger to be able to challenge the Heimerdinger. Um, what is when you return malevolence? And of course, Lee Sin. Lee Sin's kind of my removal spell. What a celebration! Back to work. It works. Oh, it works. Hmm. 
Dang. Make it rain. Alright, so we'll be able to get another Dragling. Wait, did they just Mystic Shot my 2-2 two -two when I'm at 2? I think they just did that. Did that just happen? Nah, there's no way that happened, right? Nah, that couldn't happen. I fight with the dragon's fury. I'm probably just Force is meaning. Probably just remembering wrong. A pleasure to see you, Master. There's no way that happened. The dark beckons. Strike firm. Conflict is all in the mind. Prepare yourself. Nah. Hmm. So I. So yeah, like this. This would have struck stricken both. So like I would have gained eight life with that. Um, that's why that's why I went for it with that play because I would have been gaining eight life And I know I stole one of their I did steal one of their will of Ionias I don't know if one of these other ones were me stealing or if they're just mine But I do know that the will of Ionia I cast earlier on the Heimerdinger was theirs Have to get lucky with with this make it rain. Your lesson begins. Yes. All right, we got lucky with the make it rain. Denying the wrong thing. <clears throat> They're denying the will of Ionia. Gives me a chance. I guess, I guess whichever one they denied, I would have a chance. Oh no, then they had to find this one also. came back and won that either either like both times they killed the twisted fate if they just don't if they don't kill the twisted fate um they're in a ton of trouble you know like especially the second time like if they don't kill that twisted fate that turn we're we are uh untapping and leveling it up but and they had to have multiple removal spells both times because i had a twin disciplines to protect the twisted fates so they had to have multiple removal both times and did with mystic shot um, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam, and Mystic Shot, get excited. Freljord PNZ with just Teemo. Oh, we're playing Fresh Lobster. Another good streamer. Um, Why mulligan all of those? Yeah, they had, they had the two answers for right whenever I played Twisted Fate twice. I didn't get to... I didn't get to untap with the Twisted Fate at all. Even though I... Had, I guess the second... I guess the second one I did untap with it and I just had the one Twin Disciplines protection for both times. But, oh well. Anyway. Prepared for anything. 
Optimo. But if you like decisions, we had a we just had an abundance of decisions every single turn with that game. And you know, hindsight I'm sure you know, could have been making different decisions that would have played out against their cards better. The order rewards its faithful. So yeah, if you like decisions. This is a good deck for you. You get a mega rain. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Nice. Yeah, we're playing against lobster. Could be Elixir of Iron, um, but, you know, the Teemo, yeah, I would say it's, it's not a great, even if there was Elixir of Iron, it wouldn't be a great use of it because the Teemo just is going to really have a hard time against the Shadow Assassin. Start drawing. Gotta get to eight. There's one. Puff caps in general are pretty good against the deck that's trying to draw all their stuff. Um. Right, we don't have to worry about Sejuani, right? There's no Sejuani. That that makes things a lot easier. I will play my part. Yeah, definitely glad no Sejuani. Alright, so that's six. So Twist of Fate definitely leveled up this next turn. Regular mushroom cloud? Is lobster just playing actual mushroom cloud in the deck? 
I haven't thought about that with like the merchant and the pilfer goods that maybe I should wait till plays all the stuff, but it, it's really hard for me to line that up. Yuck. Level up Twisted Fate's actually going to be kind of tough. <laughs> you got to kill them. Got to trust your instincts. Before I get too many puff caps. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Like this could actually be problematic for me. gonna play other stuff right now i don't really need a blue card you know we could get a blue card and a, and a red card and like the red card's valuable much more valuable than the blue card blue card just kind of hurts me i guess right now i'm not getting a life steal thing out though from I the Dragon for next turn. So I could just cast to make it rain. And Mushroom Cloud. And then have a Lifesteal card for next turn. Get as much elusive damage as we can. Oh, that's a harvest right there. There they go. Blessed by snow and stars. Ah, an auspicious season. the serpentine. Oh, and that, that goes away. Rob, I have ten cards. Success is planting your mushroom crop. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plant him, kid. Rough, that mega rain would have been nice. Perfect. They got Puff Cap Peddler and Teemo. Perfect. Okay. Not taking out Teemo yet. Pretties. 
Looks like trouble. Night falls. Get on the floor. Not all mean well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take me another attack step anyway. <sighs> Puff caps are really good against me. <laughs> They're going to do all this damage. damage. No. Come on, just, just zero or one. No, exact lethal. Uh, exactly though. The deck was stacked against us. It's pretty good. If you you know playing against a deck that's trying to draw all the cards, Puff Cat Peddler is awesome. The like basically the the thing that cost me that game is I should have had my one three blocked the four three when I was at, what, 19? Because that put me down to 15, and then I then I took 15 damage of puff caps. It really didn't, really got some unlucky puff cap draws, but still, um, I should have blocked. Is it, it's either that or I was at 15, I went down to 11. It was one of those two. I think I was at 19, I went to 15. Pretty sure that's what, that's what happened. I got a I got a lucky make it rain. But yep, yep, yep. the damage was done by that time. Oh yeah, I def definitely had the next round. I mean, it, even with like like having the deny and everything, I definitely had the game. <clears throat> if we didn't take five damage from those last two draws, the game the game was ours of puff caps, but we did. Hey, laser. Okay. This isn't bad. Yeah, I think we took 15 damage of puff caps. Like we took we took a lot of puff cap damage. Um we were playing against a burn player and they played one drop with one toughness and then two drop with one toughness. And um that's a great card to steal. And I played Mega Rain and killed them both, and they quit. I gave up. The order rewards its faithful. Push back the darkness. Sizzle! Eat up, friend! Ah, 
how have you been doing with that with that list, Laser? Never lost How's it been treating you? Yeah, Warshafts is amazing. Whenever I play like the um All that glitters. Whenever I play the Lucian Fury deck, it's the it's the card that I'm looking for. In my opening hand, more than anything else is War Chefs. A symbol worth fighting for. Hey, Skaya. Hey, Baka. Yeah, we got... We got Puff Capped. Very good... Strategy against the... Try to draw all the cards deck. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm... I'm very surprised that Lobster's not playing Sejuani. You know, like, you know, you just had Teemo. I can't really understand. I think Sejuani's the best champion in the game. So he was just trying to use Entreat to draw Teemo more. He just wanted to play more Teemos. I gotcha. I'm always up for a round or two. Maybe this time we'll kill Lucian? Maybe. Not so bad. Trading a Twisted Fate for a Lucian and a 5 mana card. That's not so bad at all. Especially the Twisted Fate just being like a 2-2. Two -two. Like a 2-2 two -two doesn't match up very well in this board of 3-3s three and everything. I'm glad they killed Twisted Fate over like Cythria, for example. So basically my plan was, you know, if they like just attack, like if I needed to, I could go double twin disciplines, burst speed, and put the Claws of the Dragon into play to play another... Play another blocker. Let's see. Ah, uh, I'm one mana short. If I go Twisted Fate, stun from doing that. So I, I could go. I mean, I could go Twisted Fate blue card or same thing. Zap Sprayfin blue card. It's probably better to simply Will of Ionia. And bounce this thing. Bounce Grizzled Ranger. It's gonna be messy. He hopped off the EU account and onto the NA to be. Uh, meme like that. That's how. I'm not sure how that's possible. Like, how is that possible? Like, just theoretically. Like, I don't even know. I don't understand how that should work. Um, 
not escape. So I either kill their Genevieve or save Scythria. Let me do one of those two. Like, how can you be on two servers? I don't, under I don't understand. Isn't it just based on like, your location? So I, I can double Twisted Fate red card this turn. Hmm. I guess I don't get to now. Ugh, that's a mess. I have to play Twin Disciplines. Ugh, that's a mess. Okay, even playing an Allegiance Prelior deck with Averroes and Outriders. That sounds pretty sweet, Sanjo. Do you have, do you have like a deck code that... Oh, ouch. You'd be able to post... That's probably game. Them having another card to play with, Grizzled Ranger, that, that's gotta be game. So I basically have to find, like, a, a Will of Ionia. Okay. That is a Will of Ionia. Um... I guess we block here and bounce Lucian. This is fast speed also. Ooh, that's good. Okay, so let's bounce Lucian, and we can bounce our Twisted Fate. Because if that's burst speed, you don't get to, like, block and bounce. Combat was also a good draw for them. Push back the darkness. All right, not dead yet. Hmm. Keep up, keep up. Love it. Unscarred. I, I think Unscarred's a fine, like, two of like that, because you want to get that early thing in. I think it's okay. It's not, yeah, it's not perfect, but I think it's fine. Prepare yourself. I want to make it, you know, I'm doing this first before I play, like, a Mega Rain. <clears throat> I want to make it more likely that we kill this 3-1. Love it. So soon. I'll see this through. That was a good turn for us. Alright, now we need some card draw. Something that draws card. Something that draws a card. 
Or a one drop. Oh no! Uh, I'll have to play it first, because otherwise they'll just go to they could just attack with all four things. Mm. So Valor kills Fizz. They attack with the other stuff. I block, block. I guess I guess I'm still fine. Yeah, I guess I'm still fine. Go down to two. Could really use that card draw spell. Deep Meditation, Salvage, Shadow Assassin, Twisted Fate, and Zap Spray Fin. Those are those are the cards that I want to draw the most. The enemy quivers with fear. I'll do my best. We live here. Alright, I'm at one. What? Conflict is all in the mind. Center your spirit. Dang, I want my I guess they Yeah, I guess yeah, them drawing unyielding spirit would have been good. Man, this is so close. If that's just another if that's just another unit, we lose. Oh, thankfully it's not. I'll see this through. Sight firm, prepare yourself. Alright. Close game there. So we had two real close, like, the last, besides, like, that one against Burn, those other two were real close. The Puff Caps did not go our way. That one went our way. Those two definitely could have changed. We could have definitely lost that one. We could have definitely won the Puff Cap game. You know, it's just, just good close games. All right, two and two. It's a fun deck to play because you have so many decisions. You know, that's kind of like what card draw gives you. It gives you more and more decisions. The more um, different resources that you have at your disposal. Hey, what's up, Thorwolf? Double six drop? I'm only playing two six drops in the deck. I don't want those right now. The spirit gives to those who listen. He started without me. There's plenty of killing left. Hmm, that's not good. That's not a good draw either. Man, double lease and deny, that's about as bad as it can be. No. Oh, I wanted a Jagged Butcher myself. Not more crappy four drops and just make my hand super expensive. Uh, 
one one. One one's not gonna block in. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. Um I don't Did, that does seven damage. Seven damage is probably pretty decent. Good job, Thorwolf. Climbed another spot. Good job. The dragon binds us. And Golden Guy getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Rex. Welcome to the channel, Golden Guy. I think that's our first sub of the day. I think I had one yesterday. I think. Yes. So now that's that's now accurate. Now we're at one out of five. I didn't update that from yesterday. All right, thanks, thanks for actually, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, Mookton, I guess, how does this game compare to Magic? Um, you can check that out. That was a little Google document I wrote in uh, February. So not, not the most up to date, but. You've made your path. What I got. Cool. Give them enraged yetis, then take said enraged yetis. Love you. Wish I just didn't have six cards that cost four or more in my hand, though. <laughs> Makes playing this game pretty tough. Everything costs so much mana. play one thing. You know, that's it. Alright, so that was us drawing very poorly after our mulligan, drawing both Lee Sins. Like, right after mulliganing. Uh, that's gross. Both Lee Sins, and then, yeah, the, the cards we stole from them, what, three of the four cards we stole from them cost four mana? Yeah, and so it was just, just such an ugly hand that we had. Um... And a good one from them, you know, like they, they had a really cheap hand, you know, they got to really get on the board super fast. They had two one mana three threes on turn two and they just got, got out there super fast. So, you know, like that's just, that's the difference in the game. And we got ran over. I like playing this deck though. This is a fun deck to play. Um, yeah, I, I liked playing this deck. I really like the warning shots in this deck. I, I am uh, very happy with those uh, to be extra cheap spells. Um, and burst speed and just kind of help um, you know help enable your deep meditations and enable um, black market merchant pilfer goods and also leeson you know give leeson that challenger very easily with zero mana 
And because this, this deck's drawing so many cards, it's okay to have some zero mana cards in there as well. So there we go. That's Twisted Sin, our first deck of the day. Um, yeah, good one to play, and and uh, I like this list. If you uh, if this is your kind of deck, if you like playing lots and lots of spells, uh, give this list a try, and let me know how it goes. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, let me know how it goes in the comment section. With this, I always like whenever y'all um, you know tell me how you're doing with these decks. All right, but uh, that's it for Twisted Sin. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.